crack a lack and smackin'. It's your boy, Watch Your Plays, and welcome back to Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Hope you guys are excited for today's episode. We're going to be meeting some brand new characters, and I'm also going to include the last cutscene from the previous episode. We actually had a challenge last episode. We got to either kill or spare. That was a very interesting choice. So if you missed out on the last episode, definitely check that out. So before we get started, if you haven't already, make sure you go on ahead and leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe. And with that being said, in today's video, we're going back home to Ravensthorpe. That is right. We're going to be reporting our tales of Wettishire. We finished up Wettishire. We finished up Grant's Bridge. We did all those missions in between the storyline. And now we're going back home to Ravensthorpe. We're also going to meet some familiar faces. And there's also going to be a bunch of things happening in today's episode. I'm going to include the final cutscene from the previous one. That is where we met the king and we elected a brand new king for, I believe, Mercia. Bunch of things happened in the last one. So if you missed it, definitely check it out. I have a playlist of each and every episode I do for Assassin's Creed Valhalla. This is going to be a very long walkthrough to say the least. But with that being said, Let's get started. If you missed out on the previous episode, I'm going to include the cutscene from the last one. And let's get straight into the video. Jailbird! Look at you! Bloody and battle-worn. Could be chieftain of your own clan with courage like that. No less than the King of Mercia, brother. One of these days... And how is my father taking to his new role? See for yourself. Be careful who you trust. My son. Are you well? Yes, father. Well enough. He honored you today. Fought bravely against many stalwart foes. You have my thanks. All of you. And my blessing. What happens now? Word of Burgred's deposition will spread quickly. The other kingdoms of England will soon enough know that Mercia has a new king. The remaining kingdoms of England won't respect your path to power. Nor will many in my kingdom. Burgred's soldiers will stand tall in the face of this turmoil, all across Mercia, against us. That we shall remedy soon enough. I am riding for Oxenifordshire directly, to forge an alliance with some thanes there. Shall I go with you? Not till I know more. Linger here a while if you can. Strengthen our friendships. I will send for you soon enough. Sigurd, I would feel better if Chaelbert was away from here until Mercia is more stable. Would you welcome him among your clan? Hmm. Do you have a horse, young Adeling? I do. A young steed called Theobald. Good. I can ride with you as far as the River Nene. You may find your way from there. Thank you, Sigurd. This puts my mind at ease. Be ready for my call, Eivor. It will come. You and Sigurd make a good pair. The future of England will be pagan from top to bottom. Take this, Wolfkist. As a sign of friendship. I should you call. The brothers Ragnarsson will come. You honor me, Uba. See that? Sly bastard trying to win your heart. Well, two can play at that game. How kind of you, Ivar. My pleasure. Our friendship is the best thing to come from this mess. Maybe Chelbert too. The brave little twig. That is good to hear. All 
Alright, so welcome back to Assassin's Creed Valhalla. We have a very long journey ahead of us. Now, we're going to meet with Randvi. If you don't remember Randvi in Assassin's Creed Valhalla, she is the alliance maker. Now, we have already made alliances. We have made new allies with people of Grant's Bridge and... Also, Lettishire, we have met a bunch of brand new allies, and there's a bunch of brand new strangers. And that is why our brand new home, Ravensthorpe, is now getting bigger and bigger, to say the least. Which is why we have to do some raiding. Now, our settlement is actually going to increase today. It used to be a colony, but now it's going to get even bigger in today's episode. Since we are finally going to be completing our alliance with Wettishire. Now, if you missed the last episode, spoilers incoming, definitely check it out. But anyway, we had to kill someone to save Chill Wolf. We elected a brand new king, and all of that happened in the previous one. We completed a mission called Heavy as the Head. Now, we ha still have much stories to tell. I'm not sure exactly how long the storyline is. But it is pretty long. I would say it's definitely longer than my Tuishima walkthrough. Now, with that being said, we have multiple rivers to cross. Like I have said before, you can call your horse right behind you. The push of a button, your horse will spawn right behind you no matter where you are. So that's a pretty cool feature that the game has. Also, it has Odin's vision, Odin's sight. If you hold your right stick you will be able to see a lot more clearer you'll be able to see your enemies like more clear because you have odin sight you're sort of like a um maybe a demigod in a way because you have some traits that other humans don't exactly maybe like a conduit or something like that that is what avor is he's different from the rest Obviously, if you don't know the Assassin's Creed franchise already, definitely check it out because pretty much what it is, is it's actual people in present day reliving the past. That is the main premise of the Assassin's Creed games. So there's actually someone who is living Eivor's life right now because the future is that powerful. That's how powerful the technology is. They explain it very clearly in the Assassin's Creed Odyssey game, which I will do a walkthrough on Assassin's Creed Odyssey. If you haven't played it or if you haven't seen it before, I will be doing that. That is kind of an older game. I do have a bunch of older games that I want to do walkthroughs on. And Odyssey is most definitely one I have been thinking about and one that I probably will do coming up soon once I am completely done with some of the other walkthroughs I have been doing. So now, we are almost home. We have almost made it to Ravensthorpe. I did beat Spider-Man's Miles Morales a while back ago on my channel. You can definitely check that out. Check out the cherry blossom trees here. It looks absolutely beautiful. But anyway, I beat that game a long time ago. I think there was a side mission I forgot to do in that game. So I will re be returning Spider-Man's Miles Morales soon. I have something planned for that game. Okay, we're gonna have to leave our horse here. Looks like we're being fired at. Let's cross this river. We haven't been to Ravensthorpe in a very long time. It's been a while. We had several things to do for England. We're trying to make alliances with some of the kingdoms of England, if not all of them, and we're trying to expand the Raven Clan. Now, if you have missed out on the previous episodes of Assassin's Creed Valhalla, most definitely check them out. Pretty much what had happened was we started out in Norway with our father slash uncle. I believe he was our father. And he wanted, I believe, me or our brother Sigurd to take over for king. But Sigurd wasn't up for that. He didn't want to be second-hand man or something like that he wanted to start his own kingdom so that is when he left norway and left towards england and that is where we are at right now we decided to leave with our brother sigurd as well and 
help him out with his brand new kingdom with the Raven Clan. But, there was a witch. A witch a while back ago in this game. That said one day, our brother Sigurd would betray us. So, that is something we have to keep our eye on. It may not come true, but it's a pretty good possibility that it could come true. So, that's most definitely something we have to keep our eye on. That one of our closest mates, one of our closest friends could one day betray us. So that might happen later in the storyline. I don't even think we're that far in the storyline just yet. There is mythical weapons that we have to hunt for very soon, which I will try to get. But for right now, here we go. We have made it back home to Ravensthorpe. We're going to speak with Ranvi, tell our stories and tales about Lettishire and see what exactly is going to come up next. So, here we go. We have finally made it back home. Let's see if I can find the entrance to this cabin. Let's see, let's look around. Okay. The entrance is right around here. There we go. Evil? A moment. Not just yet. Okay, let's speak with Ranvi. I advise. Ah, glad to see you made it, Chilbert. Thanks to Sigurd. He was a good guide and even better company. He told me some incredible stories. The best ones were about you. Hopefully nothing too embarrassing. There were a few gems. Not to interrupt, Eivor, but what of Lady Chestershire? The Alliance is one. The sons of Ragnar are friends to our clan. Glad to hear it. Well done to you both. And here we go, Ravensthorpe is now officially a hamlet. Yes, we are officially a hamlet now. We went from a colony to a hamlet, or a hamlet. We are now level three. We will soon be level six, one day. At one time, the title Jarl referred to a man second only to the king, but that use has softened. Now a Jarl may be a chief, a leader, or a man with broad wealth and influence. The world is bigger now, and broken into many pieces. It seems our language must do the same to keep up. <laughs> An interesting thought. Chilbert, your father sent you here to learn, not teach. Then you must start, Eivor. Give us a summary of our recent gains, for instance. The clan is thirsty for knowledge. You want me to give a speech? Right. My friends, hearken to me, and hear a tale of triumph and toil. I have traveled far since we landed, and seen much on the roads and fields of this new England. And for all my travels, strong alliances have we gained. The honorable Cheowulf, King of Mercia, now called his friend. And to the south, Soma Jalskona and the Danes of Grandbridge have pledged their oath to us. By Sigurd's hand and my own, we have strengthened the ties of... You seat yourself as Sigurd's equal in these tales of yours. Would Sigurd do the same if he were here? Sigurd knows what I have achieved, and he would celebrate it more roundly than I have. But this takes nothing from you, all of you. For I sit among some of the staunchest wills and strongest fighters I have ever known. And so I raise my horn, first to Sigurd, may he return to us soon, and to the Raven Clan, the best of friends and fighters. 
To Sigurd! To Sigurd! May he return and relieve us of you! And may all of you enjoy the ale as much as Dag has. Skull! Skull! You think me drunk, Eivor? Would it soften my blows if I was? Your words are blunt enough. But it would explain your boldness. My eyes are clear and open. And I see before me one eager to claim a piece of Sigurd's glory. There's enough glory in the world to go around for all who earn it. And I have no doubt how much I am owed. Just as I thought, you're... Attackers from the river! They look to be Danes! Danes? How many? Too many. Now come, the battle roars already. Bloody curs! What quarrel have Danes with us? Those who can fight, take up your weapons. All others stay here. With me! Nothing for you here but death! An death. arrival. One of the Vulcan. Looks like we have some unwanted visitors. Alright. So someone is invading our home, our land. And it is our job to protect it. So here we go. Yes, we must keep them away from the longhouse. So someone has decided to step in our home soil. So we're gonna take each and every one of them down one by one. No escape, you Almost definitely does. Let's be careful. My goodness, that guy is on fire. Literally. And our home is on fire too. They've burned down some of our buildings. It's gonna take a while to repair some of our settlements, but it's alright. Let's take him down. There we go. I will get back to doing some raiding soon as well. Why do we need to do some raiding? We need to get some even more supplies for our settlement. So I will do some raids. You might see a separate video for that. Oh my goodness, I just chopped that guy's head off. Literally. You might see a separate video for that where I will do some side quests, aka raiding, is what I mean. Because we need to build up our settlement. Nothing of our strength. Called our clan weak, huh? Let's take him down. Uh oh, we have to be careful. This guy's one of the harder soldiers to fight, but we'll take him down. We are bidden by the gods. Interesting. See if I can break it. There we go. Nice. You will need only death. I just took that guy's head off too. Some of the fatalities in this game are brutal. Very brutal. Definitely reminds me of Mortal Kombat a little bit. But let's revive our allies. And then we're gonna finish defending this settlement, our home. So let's do it. There we go. Let's keep on moving. Collect some silver. Some more silver. We have almost finished defending Ravensthorpe. Goodness, that was very brutal. Oh no. 
Is that the last of them? The rivers are clear. If more were coming, they thought better of it. By their colors and markings, I believe they come from Giedland. Are there none left alive to spill their secrets? We may never know why. Here is one! <clears throat> this vermin was crawling to the river, hoping to float away. Uh, uh, have mercy, friend. And you may find an ally with us. Mercy is earned by the quickness of your tongue. Where do you come from, and what is your quarrel with us? We are settled in East Anglia. Newly arrived and hungry for silver. You drifted off course. This is Mercia. As we were ordered. By whom? You bore me. Useless hound, scratching your ass in search of silver. Put an end to this one. Your silence earned you no kindness, Geet. So I'll ask you once more, who sent you? The wind sent us. And the rivers will take us home. He begs for death, Eivor. Give it to him. Or send him home with a warning. Let him tell his people what death awaits them, should they sail this way again. Spare or kill. I would kill this guy, but we need more information on him. Go, and do not return. I thank you. This is not mercy. It is death deferred. Whoever sent you warned them of the slaughter that awaits should any return. Oh, what tales I will tell. Send one of your scouts to follow him. We will find... To show mercy would endanger us, soil our reputation as cowards. This was the only end possible. We could have learned something by tracking him. Now we know nothing. Sigurd would have acted as I did. That is all the justification I need. Sigurd is not here to make such a call, but I am. And if you cross me again, you will know about it. I see you, Eivor. And I know what you are. Put no stock in what Dag says. His bluster may be loud, but it blows softly. Get this cleaned up, and we'll talk of next steps. All right, so we completed one of our main missions for today, but what we're going to do now is meet an old friend that some of you may remember from the beginning of the storyline. Uh, that is right, her name is Valka, and she was the witch I was talking about who foretold our future and said that our friend was going to betray us one day. Eivor, what a pleasure to see you. Oh dear, it feels like it's been so long. Valka, my friend. You're most welcome here. Are you well? Better than well. I am present. And your mother? My mother has found her peace at last. She walks through a world seen only in dreams and will forevermore. That is all any of us can hope for. Indeed. Come. How was your passage? Exhilarating. The waves and the wind were with us from the start. We flew like seabirds. And how are you? In spite of your stoic look, there is a brightness in your eyes that warms me. It may be a kind of hope. A settlement is growing. The people are happy and I am looking forward to more. And your visions? They come and go. But leave all that aside. Let me help you with your things. This way. We found a fine spot for you at the foot of the hill. Hmm. Every hour we traveled, I tried to conjure in my mind some vision of this place. And how close were you? I saw the trees, and the water, and the rolling hill. 
but I could not foresee so much green. It is a magnificent and calming color. A balm for sea salted ice. Falca has returned. It's very interesting that she's back and she might be able to help us with some of our visions we have seen with the gods because we don't necessarily Falca! understand them. God, Seppo, what brings you? Hope there isn't a curse on the settlement or some such. Ha! <laughs> the only curse on this place is their great lout of a blacksmith. It is a rare feeling to travel across the sea and still find oneself at home. This place feels powerful, alive. Do you foresee great things for us? No need for foresight. I feel it in my heart. Okay. All these people you have brought here. This life you have built on these stranger shores. Does it please you? It does. To know that I've built this place and kept these people safe is a gift. You speak first of yourself when I ask this question. Which says more than you intend, I think. Is that Valka I see? What took you so long to follow? Wanted to ensure the place was up to snuff. We must talk again soon, Randvi, once I'm settled. And before my arms fall off, what is this I'm carrying? My heaviest reagents, of course. Lead, whalebone, flax of gold. Uh, salve, Eivor. Ad Meliora. Good day. And who is that fellow? I have no idea. Well, the town must be bustling. All these people you have brought here. This life you have built on these stranger shores. Does it please you? It does. To know that I've built this place and kept these people safe is a gift. You speak first of yourself when I ask this question. Which says more than you intend, I think. You can put those just there. Thank you. Very interesting what she has told us here. Valka is moving into Ravensthorpe. This is going to do it for today's episode. I hope you guys have enjoyed. And it's been your boy Watcher Plays. Take care. Peace. And here we are. Lovely. Just as you promised. As soon as I am set up here, we can return to the matter of your visions. Valka, please. You are touched, Eivor. A conduit for godly tidings. Please, let me help. I may know a way to clarify these visions. An elixir that may open the door of your mind into the realm of the gods. If you think it would help, I can finish your home myself. Only give me some time. I would be grateful. Thank you, Eivor. Of course. And welcome home. <laughs>